Hey guys, it's me, and today I am here with a different kind of reaction video. In the new year, I'm gonna be doing different kinds of music video reaction videos, and this is one of them, and this is a start of a series. I'm uh, doing it in air quotes, because I don't know if this is gonna be like a series series, like I'm gonna do this every single week, or every other week, or just do it whenever on a Thursday, but I'm gonna be doing throwback Thursday reaction videos, in which I'm gonna be reacting to several songs that one, I haven't listened to in a very, very, very long time, or bands that I haven't listened to in a very, very, very long time, or just like bands that I used to listen to when I was younger and everything that I don't listen to anymore. And yeah, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be reacting to four songs today, and the songs that we're going to be listening to today are My Apocalypse from Arch Enemy don't really listen to them anymore I just all their music sounds the same to me these days and everything so it was just bleh. psychosocial by slipknot i haven't listened to slipknot really like truly listened to them since i was in high school rose of sharon by kill switch engage this is actually i think one of the first few songs that i heard by them and someone actually um requested me to do a reaction to this so i will be doing this so yeah, thank you for reminding me about this because I was wanting to get some other songs to do for this video. So thank you for giving me this idea for this one. Lastly, and the first song that we're going to be reacting to is Dead Stars by a band called The Slot. Now, the title of the song is in English, but the song is in the original version, which is in Russian. But The Slot, I haven't listened to these guys in a very, very long time. I don't know if they're still around or not. Um, a few years ago, I want to say it was when they started to make like some like ground out here um, in the States or at least like further outside of Russia. And I discovered them before all that happened back when like all their songs were strictly or at least for the most part just only in Russian because I think they started releasing some songs in English and started releasing English versions of some songs even though this video was released in 2010 before like they started like making like brown and success with like English speakers and everything like their band name was in like Russian phonetics and the title of the song was in also in Russian phonetics I believe I can't remember it's been a long time since I kept up with this particular song and video but it didn't say at the end of the video that it was in Russian and this video it says that it was posted November 3rd 2010. I think the last single of theirs that I listened to I think was Lego and I don't remember when that single dropped. Anyways we're gonna get into this though and we're gonna be reacting to all these older songs that I used to be obsessed with when I was younger. If you're new here to my channel don't forget to hit subscribe and also while you're down there give this video a thumbs up because that'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below for those of you who want to follow me across my different social media links and yeah let's do this. If you guys didn't see my reaction video that I posted yesterday I'll give you the lowdown on today's video. So typically with my reaction videos I put in the full song and have the full song playing during the reaction portion of the video. Well I can't do it with this particular video due to copyright issues. Three out of the four songs I'm reacting to in this video would get this video blocked in all countries. So in order to not have to deal with that, I am going to have to do jump cut editing with all the songs in this video, except for the last one. I could just like keep it in there. I think it's the last one or is it the first one? I can't remember. It's one of them. Um, I could like keep the full video in there but then it would just be weird because the rest of them would be like jump cut edited so yeah so just giving you all a heads up that is going to be the case for this video it might be the case for future videos as well if I want to like be like a difficult stubborn little shit and like still post the video anyways so yeah just keep that in mind that there's going to be jump cut editing through the reaction portions of this video so yeah, just wanted to let you guys know, giving you all a heads up about it. And yeah, let's get into the actual video. So like I mentioned before, the first song that we're going to be reacting to is Dead Stars by The Slot. Oh god, the nostalgia. I was so 
so into these guys. If you've never listened to these guys, definitely check out some of their stuff if you're into like new metal, because they have some pretty good stuff. Because even just like, like revisiting this right now, it's like, I forgot how much I love this. And how obsessed I was with these guys. I was obsessed with these guys. She went on to the voice Russia and did Zombie, I think. I think that's what she did. They both have such great voices. Like, both of their voices are beautiful, and she is a freaking beast. I love it. She just looks like such a baby in this video, though. But then again, this was a long time ago. This was almost 10 years ago. Man, that takes me back, man. This is making me feel old, honestly. <laughs> I got into these guys in like 2010. Or did I get into them in 2009? It might have been 2010. I'm trying to remember when I discovered Akato. Because it was through Akato that I discovered Russian metal music. Ah, oh, the nostalgia though. Next up is Rose of Sharon from Kill Switch Engage. I think. What's his name? I can't remember his name. Howard? Their second singer, like, he did this song, um, Dangerous with Within Temptation. That's the last time I heard his voice was him doing that song. And I never really got into these guys that much. The only reason why I kind of sort of dabbled into these guys is because my sister really enjoyed their stuff. Like, the only two songs that I know from them is the song that they did on Guitar Hero 3 and this song. That's it. I used to be into like new metal and hard rock when I was younger. I'm remembering why I don't listen to the genre that much. It's so boring. <laughs> like there's not enough going on with the production. I mean, he's got a great voice, but God, the production is so boring. <laughs> God, I've been spoiled by prog and symphonic metal. It's very telling of its time. Like, it says, like, on the video that this was posted in 2006. This is very much like a 2000s music video. Okay, I remember the song now. Look at this right here. I've always have really loved his cleans. I mean, this video just screams the time of when it was made. Like, you would never see a music video like this in this day and age. You know what? It kind of reminds me of the beautiful tragedy video from In This Moment, in a way. Which I think that song was released around the same time, I think. I mean, it's not a bad song. But like I said, the production is just so boring. <laughs> I feel bad for saying that, but it's because of the type of music that I listen to regularly these days. Wow. They couldn't even, like, edit the audio better with this video. Wow, the audio, like, faded and then, like, you hear the cutoff for it. And the video's still going on. Wow. Wow, that is bad. <laughs> that is bad video editing right there. Okay. Next up, we're gonna be reacting to Psychosocial from Slipknot. Like I mentioned earlier, I haven't listened to these guys in a very, very long time. I just grew out of these guys. I just don't care for their music anymore. I used to be really into them back when I was younger. I think I started to grow out of them when I was about maybe 17, I think was when I started to grow out of these guys. Let's see, I'm 24 now, so about seven years ago. If you live here in Atlanta, you probably are gonna get this, but I remember back in the day with 961 Rock, 
they would actually play the song on the radio and it was so crazy and it was such a big deal at the time because it was just in, like this was like metal music mine and my sister's eyes and everything like this is death metal death metal's coming to radio and shit this is great even though this is just like typical hard rock new metal type of bullshit and everything so it's just like it ain't that special it ain't that important and everything but what was important was that within temptation made their way onto 961 the rock with faster that was a big moment that was a special moment because that was like symphonic metal's first dip into like mainstream media here in the states but then shortly after that happened though 961 the rock became a top 40 station and we haven't had a good rock metal station in Atlanta since. God, this is gonna be so bad for me. This is gonna be a very cringy reaction for me. I kind of want to save this one for last, but I want to end on a high note with my apocalypse because I feel as if uh, I'll still really enjoy my apocalypse. Whereas with this, I know I'm not gonna enjoy it because I don't care for Corey Taylor's voice. And this song is just, from what I remember, it's just not that great. I was obsessed with this song and video when it first dropped. Oh, like this album was such a big deal. Cause this came out when I was 13. And so back then, it was a big deal for me. Cause back then I was just like, music's gotta be a chance, it's gotta be beefy and shit. But now, like, the shit that I listen to now shits all over this. Like, this is basic white bitch compared to the stuff I listen to now. I don't know if my dad enjoyed this song or not, but whenever it would come on, he would turn up the volume. So I don't know if he did that because he knew that my sister and I loved the song, or if he turned it because he actually enjoyed the song. The production on this is so boring and repetitive and just not interesting and I think that was like a big issue that people had with this album in general which is why a lot of people were so hyped when their fifth album came out I think because I think I listened to a few songs off of that album and everything but because I was just like oh wow I haven't listened to these guys in a long time and that was when I realized like oh yeah I don't like these guys I don't get this part I really don't again like weird production bits like it just comes out of nowhere it doesn't really make any sense to like the music and the song or anything like that this is definitely like commercial produced type song and you can really hear with like the production the writing the vocals and everything like the clean vocals specifically whomever the producer was for this they I feel that so they specifically did this song and probably other songs off this album to be like, oh, we're gonna get you guys out there. We're gonna make you successful. Like, this is gonna be your big break type of shit. And it's just, it's just, pop. I know I'm probably shitting on a lot of your favorite bands and everything with this and everything, but I don't give a shit. Like, this ain't my speed. It's just so boring. How did I ever enjoy that? back in the day but then again my music taste back when I was younger was just like if it sounds intense I'm gonna listen to it the intense shit that I listen to nowadays I would have never listened to back then because I would have been like that's too much that's too extreme that's way too much it's just like it's just flesh god apocalypse it's just profane burial it's just progeny Teresa pura like dude no I thought I was the shit back then I thought I was the edgiest person. I thought I was the most goth, the most extreme person out there. Bitch, you don't know shit. Time for the last song that we're gonna be reacting to in this throwback Thursday video, and that is My Apocalypse by Arch Enemy. I'm actually looking forward to this. I haven't listened to this song in a very long time. I want to say it's been about maybe like three or four years since I've listened to this song. So yeah, it's been a while. And I haven't really listen to Arch Enemy period because I mean like for one Alyssa is a fucking dick and also like I mentioned earlier their music just sounds the same now like the only songs I've ever have truly listened to and gotten into were just the singles 
from Angela's days with the band. Even now, you can't really listen to them because they all sound the same too. Whoever produces their music, they just want them to be one thing. Not broke, don't fix it, but bitch, you sounded the same for many, 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 many years. But enough bitching, let's get into this. God, this riff. I love this riff so much. And I love that bit right there. That, that, like, ding, ooh thing. I've always have loved that bit. Like, the production on this song is so good. Like, this and Nemesis are, like, my two favorite songs from them. Didn't Angela say that she was gonna be coming back to metal soon? Because I vaguely remember her talking about that once before, or like seeing something online, like an article about her talking about how she's planning on making a comeback. Like, I remember riding school bus back when I was in 8th grade, jamming to this shit. Like, this and Nemesis have always tied for my favorite song from them. Now, this is how you do a tone change. Slipknot. Take notes. <laughs> for this, this tone shift works. Am I really gonna be that person that's about to say this? I wish Angela was still in this band, but at the same time, it's just like, I know I would still be bored as hell with their music. Even though Alyssa is very, very talented, you cannot deny her talent. She's a dick. Oh god. I still love that song. It's so good. So that was it for Throwback Thursday here on my music channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed listening to this music or at least enjoyed hearing me bitch about some of these songs. I think I bitched through all the songs except for Dead Stars. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. If you want me to do more of these, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do some more of these. I had a lot of fun doing this. It was nice going down memory lane bitching about music. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any recommendations as to what songs I should do reactions to in the future, let me know in the comments below and I'll get to those as soon as I can. But I'll see you guys in my next video and until then, whatever the hell that may be. Goodbye.